Intuitors, it's Aria here, and I'm just about to get into doing a reading for everybody by their zodiac sign. It will be essentially a love forecast for 2019. I'm kind of focusing in on a time period of about six months because I plan on doing the reading again, maybe you know, maybe once every three months or so to see how things are changing. But this is like a long-term love forecast for um, a larger period of time. However, I will say that I do expect that for every person, it might unfold a little bit differently timing-wise. For some of you, this story might unfold in a really, you know, sooner time frame than six months, and some of you it might be farther out. I kind of look at it as the bell curve. So what I'm going to do at the end of the reading, make sure you stay tuned all the way till the end because I'm going to do a really fun pick a card reading that will give you a time frame that gives you a better idea, a sense of how and when this might unfold because I know a timing question is something that I most often get. When, you know, when do you see this likely to happen? I will have to say, however, that as a card reader, not only for myself but for others, I have found that because we all have free will choice the and because the energies that are being looked at at any given time in a situation can always change based on the choices that you make or the choices the other person makes, that the timing can always be a tricky thing. And so understand that anytime we're looking at a timing situation or even any situation that's being painted in the cards, if it really resonates inside of you and you really feel the truth of it, then it's pretty likely that this is the course that you're truly on at this time and that if, if no major decisions are changed or like, um, you know, some of the things that you have free will choice in or that they have free will choice in, if there's no major changes in those, like where they're headed, that's the direction you guys are going. But of course, as human beings, we do have a tendency to, you know, have monkey wrenches thrown into things. Maybe something else comes along that you didn't expect or see. And so, you know, that can always change the outcome. But at any given time, I think it's actually a very useful tool to take a look at a card reading and say, okay, where are things headed right now? Because if I don't like this story, what can I do to change this? Or if I would like to see this occur, what can I do to make sure that it stays on course? So basically that's how you can use these readings. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus as well in, in case one of these readings doesn't really resonate with you, maybe the other one will. Or um, maybe you'll get more details from one of the other readings as well. So. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing to my channel, and we're going to get right into your personalized reading for your sign of the zodiac, and um, looking forward to seeing you there. Okay, so... Uh, we have where you are at now, right, right now. The key is in your hand. I feel like it's kind of um, just a new, a new opportunity is opening up for you to bring in a lot of positivity for what it is you really desire. The sun, child key. The sun is the um, yes card. So like about love. Yes, you have the opportunity, a new opportunity, to really open up the door for yourself in the way of love. But currently, I feel like you guys haven't, most of you in this reading, some of you, who knows, <laughs> you haven't fully grasped this key yet. And if you don't, you're going to have some trouble. And the trouble is, and the reason this is coming up this way is I feel that it, it's where you're headed at the moment, and the suggested action will help turn these cards around to be really more positive for what you want. Because where it's headed right now is we have the coffin, the fox, and the ring. And the coffin is like no action. It's even um, like things that are stuck and aren't moving, um, and like, you know, there's no movement in that. And the fox is like, you know, some trickiness and deceit in regards to committed relationship. So if you're already in a committed relationship already or headed into one, you have the key in your hand and it really is a chance for a new start and a new beginning in creating a very positive yes kind of outcome in what you desire in your relationship. But 
If you don't take hold of that key and utilize it, then this is what you end up with. If you do take the key and utilize it, then I think we'll see. We would see that 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 coffin and you know, like this situation could could change. It could be for some of you that it changes because you realize that what you have right now is not what you want, and you shift and change things, and you open up new doors of possibility. Maybe you close other doors and so on, but you like shift things around, and then you get something else here. The suggested action. It, it comes up as the stars, the birds, and the, and the stork. The stork and the stars are hugely positive cards that really have everything to do with, um, like, the stork is about positive changes and, and the ability, like, like this, the key and the stork actually together are talking about this really great breakthrough ability for a complete shift and change in your direction. So it's saying utilizing this key gives you the ability to have all of this change and it has a lot to do with communication um, but the also birds the, the negative side of the birds is that they have some you know they can be stressed out sometimes and agitated and things like that so if you have had stress and agitate agitation that hasn't really helped you like in achieving what it is you want with love um, but you have the ability to shift and change that. Or if it's about communication, if you've been blocked in communication. So like if you're going along where you're at this, in this moment and you don't get this into play here because this is your answer to achieving a different outcome here. Then you get this where there's, you know, stale stagnancy, a tricky, um, somebody not being honest, there's deceitfulness and, you know, having to do with this committed relationship. So right now the, the way to shift and change that is by having the communication and you kind of have like this blessing of the universe you have the stars on your side which is the magic of I mean it really is you but there's magic in it that ends up um, and I'm not sure why my phone why my whole battery this was the computer to be on for that powered up I guess so all right so um, you have you really have the universe, the universe has your back in helping to bring all this and make it happen, but you also are a player in that. Like we make our own magic as well. So by you seizing the key and opening up and allowing for the change, then you can get what you want over here. Now I would say that if you're wanting a committed relationship, like you don't really want to see the fox in the in the um, coffin over here. So I would like to see right now, I'm going to pull two more cards to see what would we get if if you really allow the shifting to take place. I'm just assuming you'd want to come into a relationship. Maybe not everybody wants that. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's a general reading again. So take that as you may. Um, we have the tree. That's a very positive card. It talks about long-term strong growth. And then we have the book, which is it's about things that aren't known and they and it's also about knowledge and information and so that would be um, you know it's, it's always good to have knowledge and information of course and then the the tree being like like if you're aiming toward having a really good strong committed relationship and being really happy in love then it's like you end up with having this, the information and everything that you need to know you have that you have all of that in order to make it grow like this and that's a very you know nicer combination to see that than the coffin and the fox okay so let's take a look at I want to um, see get some house houses because this will also give us some clues about where where to look for um, like where where the answer like where is the key where's the child where's the son and we get that from houses and so I pull other cards here and we have the uh, the key is in the house of the mountain, so where things were blocked before, you now have the ability to open up. Now, I do want to put this coffin and the fox back because we do have the the fox is the new is in the house of the fox. So there, what is hopeful for me is if those of you who are in a relationship with someone already, that this is the same person. They're a businessman, entrepreneur. Um, so that could be the case as well. And another reading on this, other than just being um, you know, a, the negative characteristics of the fox. The other way to read this is he is a businessman and maybe things have just not been happening with him 
um, between the two of you, there's been, you know, stagnancy, nothing is happening, and that's what I'm getting from the mountain too. It's been blocked. And, you know, you don't have, like, because this is blocked, there's no committed relationship yet. We'll get those other cards here. So it, I feel like this is definitely going to be the same person in it, or same in, in any reading where we have them both come up. The sun in the house of the heart. I'm loving to see this because this is, of course, love. And so you have a big yes in the house of the heart. So right now, it's just like you you take this key, you allow the change, you get the communication coming in the stars, the universe is aligning for you. And you really, I think you see a committed relationship with this person who has been not talking to you. Let's get some more. So, oh my goodness, we have the key in the house of the coffin. I mean, the coffin is in the house of the key. So the coffin has been blocking this. The key has been blocked by the mountain. So the coffin is like, like nothing's happening here right now because there was inaction in the area of a key. And the key is in the area of what was blocked. This is really, really powerful. So this is very much, I'm kind of like re reading this in a different light now. This, this is not so much of like that negative characteristics. This guy is, it's just like the characteristics of a fox. He's a business person, an entrepreneur. And it also is someone who could be coming in new. A lot of you, this is a new person you haven't met yet. Someone new is coming in and they're an entrepreneur. And it's just really, it's headed toward a beautiful relationship, but you, you have been blocked. Maybe you don't know them yet. You've been blocked because you just didn't have the key yet. You didn't allow yourself to have the change. Okay, so you need to let some change come in with you. The stars are, are in the house of destiny. So this person is destined for you. I'm getting goosebumps. I get birds in communication. So there's just super strong um, you know, communication in the house of communication. It's very, very strong. And stork in the house of the stork. You've got to be kidding me. Um, there's so much there's so much repetition here because of the keys the foxes the birds and the storks that um, there it just feels like really really super strong for coming in this is incredibly oh I have three, two more to draw <laughs> got so carried away there this is a very incredible reading so far you've got to be kidding me actually I'm gonna do this <laughs> that's where I was gonna go next and I just <sighs> wow okay so the fox is in the house of the rings. This guy really is, you know, like destined to be, this guy, this gal, this person is, is destined to be in a committed relationship with you and you with them. And then the ring is in the, hou in the, in the house of the house. So they really are your home. Like I'm that strong feeling of home is, you know, what I feel for them. Libra, this is so powerful. Um, let's go ahead and do a few uh, tarot cards here. And be very interested to see what comes up with that. Wow. Ring, double rings, foxes, birds, storks, keys. And it's all about love. We, I mean, I, it is about love anyway because I said it was, but then I get the heart coming up. I'd love to see that. And the sun saying, yes, yes, you have love coming in. I feel like just a lot of you, I feel like a lot of you just like, you're like, I haven't even had love in my life. Where's love? Where is this person? He has never, you know, where is he? Well, you're about to meet him. There's face to face. And speaking of which, um, okay, that's the two of cups. Sorry. This deck of cards has front and back. And we got the daylight. I'm really feeling that sun. I just feel that sun there. And it, the sun is breaking through the clouds that, um, you know, that you've been blocked and haven't had, um, you know, like, where's my love? Well, you're about to meet him. You're about to come in. Brand new person for a lot of you. If, if not a person um, brand new, it's been somebody you've been at a distance with. Um, there's been distance separating you. There's been silence separating you, but that's so much about to change. Huge change, huge communication. The stars in the house of, the, of what's destined, like it's destined to happen. Okay, I just really wanna see some more cards come up, but they just don't want to. So this has really been a burden for some time and it's been long going. I feel like a, a lot of you Libras, it's just you've been really waiting for this for a long time and wondering where it's been. Here. Been waiting a long time, but they're coming. And I have the Knight of Wands. So they're coming along. They have passion. There's passion and energy. Um, movement. The Knight is moving. So there hasn't been movement before. 
and then I got the Ace of Wands, and then the pa um, Page of Wands. So lots and lots of Wands energy. You could be connected with somebody who has a lot of fire sign in their chart, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, we have the Ten of Cups. So you're really destined to have this beautiful love connection. I was put over here, destined. And you just, you guys love to talk to each other. Um, there's the judgment card. So like, it's a call you can't, um, you can't refuse. He can't refuse. She can't refuse that call. It, they're gonna hear it. And okay, this is interesting. I have the back of the Queen of Wands. So if this is a woman for some of you, you just don't see her yet. She's coming. And then they just showed me this one here. I have the back of the King of Cups. Okay, so fire sign, water sign can feature in their charts. It's not just about that, but when you look at, okay, so both of you, whoever you are, you're just, you know, you're not quite there yet, but it's coming. This face-to-face -face meeting is coming. And um, if you want to know timing on this beautiful spread, then take a look at um, the, what comes next and do a fun little um, pick a card reading to get your, a time frame for you. And please leave comments down below because I'd love to hear how this turns out for you guys. All right, now that we're done with that part of the reading, we're going to go into a fun timing activity that will give you a better idea or a sense of when some of the parts of this reading will unfold for you that resonated most with you. So what I'm gonna have you do is think about four different time frames that feel the most likely happen with this story. For example, if you're like, um, you know, I don't really see this happening for at least a couple of months, then pick that as your first, your shortest time frame. But if you're like, yeah, you know, I really could see this happening within the next, you know, three weeks or so, then pick that as your earliest time frame. Then pick out your kind of your latest time frame and then pick two other time frames in between, whether it's, you know, whether it's several weeks or whether it's several months. Assign a time frame to each, your ace of diamonds, your spades, your clubs, your hearts, and assign a time frame to each one of those. I'm going to go ahead and do the yes or no answer kind of reading. And at the end of the reading, we're going to end up with two yeses and two noes. And the two yeses are going to be your, your time frame. Let's go ahead and get right into that one now. Okay, so we now have our two yeses, and your timing for your question here is contained in these two on the ends. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. We have the Ace of Spades and the Ace of Diamonds. So whatever your time frame is that you chose, those are your outliers. And let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have coming up here. Well, we do have quite a lot of love in this side here. It does look like this started out with um, some kind of love relationship that you will meet someone whether you have met them yet or not. And um, there, it does here say that it, you just really need to take action. So when, but not to be impulsive, but there is a new commitment and it is time, you know, you should take action is what's being um, recommended there. So you meet someone, you should take action or they should take action, you both should. And um, be careful though that you don't get into kind of like um, a funk about things. Like I feel like if there's no action that's taken, like the tendency for that, you just, is, this is a warning here because otherwise you can kind of get stuck. And because um, the here is also talks about indecision and a lack of faith and then, you know, having difficulty moving forward in order to achieve change. So it just looks like there's love but it looks like things are having a hard time getting off the ground because either one or both of you and there's frustrations because of that and then some confusion or doubt. And then there's a need to forgive and leave a situation that causes regret. So, 
for some of you, it does feel to me like there, you know, like I said, there was an init initially someone that you have met. Maybe this has already taken place. You've already met this person. And if things are really stuck and aren't, you know, like isn't happening, then what's going to be needed in order for you to move forward and get the love in your life that you really want is to let this go. And remember, and it's a lesson learned. And then um, it does also, again, talk about obstacles that could stand in the way of your success and missed opportunities. So make sure you don't have a missed opportunity come up because then we end up with the king of, and the queen of spades with the ace of spades. Interesting, I, I think there was a lot of love there because we do have a lot of hearts, but all of the hearts that we do have are in the, um, in the negative position, like in the um, reversed position and have their more negative attributes there. So not that that message is for everyone, but that was there for some people who needed to hear it. Now here's another message of uh, how to th move things forward toward your love relationship that you, I'm assuming is your desire since you are watching this video. All right, so we begin out with some, um, it does talk about not making any big changes because there's financial difficulties. So um, although it does say that there's success in a new enterprise, so I feel like some of you actually may have started a new job or um, a new career or you're an entrepreneur or there's just something that you have started the beginning of something, but it's causing some financial strain at first. And then you end up with a joyful outcome after that difficult phase. So things do turn around pretty quickly for you there. And um, so just really, you know, that there's a lot to be grateful for in that, in that regard. And, um, but it does here talk about feelings of depression and hurt and anger have caused someone to be discouraged. Look past your anxieties because success will be eventual. Now, whether that's kind of in this same, the beginning here, or if it's kind of like sometimes I'll read these and I feel like it's not necessarily that this is the order that it happens in, but this is all pieces of advice that need to come forward for some reason. Uh, you do end up having new friends and associates, and I do feel like that if you haven't met someone yet, um, that that's possible that it could even come through the workplace. Um, be careful that you um, respond quickly to repair your actions if you realize that you have hurt someone because it could come back to, you know, kind of like a karma situation where it comes back around. Not because, I mean, you're, you're a better person, of course, than doing it just for yourself, but you just you do need to watch out for things like that because, because that energy of putting out something negative, even if it was unintentional, can, can come back and then make things difficult for you. So just make sure to put that into place. But you do have a feeling of happiness and um, fewer problems are coming in regards to money. And then we do also have a matched pair again with the king and the queen of clubs. So that's looking good. Anyway, that's a little bit of a reading for your, for your timing on the end of this, of this spread.